Yeah, I'm with that friend. Welcome to Toronto, Canada. I love living in the Great White North. This has always been home for me. You're just in time to join me for my summer camp at the Akan Museum. Are you ready? Let's go! Our imams have done so much for us and the communities in which we live. But how much do we really know about the impact of this work on our everyday lives? My name is Mahara, and this is the story of the Imamat and I. This is one of my favorite places in the city. Here I can be at home and travel around the world. I can be in the present, but also be in the past at the same time. What are we waiting for? We don't want to be late for camp. The Arakan Museum is North America's first museum dedicated to Islamic arts and culture. It was designed based on the use of patterns and light, which change depending on the position of the sun, like a sundial. How cool is that? Some of my first memories were when I first joined the summer camp in 2016. We felt so special getting to go to the galleries and playing games before the visitors came in. Every year, we learned something new about the exhibits. I've always loved both art and history, so it's great to see both of these things come together in our activities. I've made so many new friends, and the teachers are always so fun and engaging. They have so much knowledge about the artifacts. Hello, my name is Saida Niktab. I joined the Aachen Museum in 2018. I'm one of the educators at the museum. I studied art history. Uh, especially Persian art, so the museum is the best place for me to teach and I love the museum. Around this time of the year, usually uh, July and August, we host campers for one week sessions. Uh, camps provide us with an opportunity to delve deeper into the objects, the cultures, the time they came from. Uh, we explore the galleries, we take inspiration for the arts we make during that day. Uh, we introduce campers to new artistic traditions, mediums, and techniques. And Mohara is very artistic. She's very creative. One of my favorite moments of teaching her is when we go to the gallery and have conversations around the objects. She's very good at finding connections between her identity and the objects that we have in the collection. As a Muslim, I think every part of the museum helps me understand my identity because everyone was connected and still is throughout different civilizations in history. I really love learning about the stories of the Shahnameh and how different kings would add their own part to this famous collection. In the past, people would tear out pages of the book and sell them. So it's great to have the museum preserving what is left of this rich storytelling tradition. When I was younger, not a lot of people asked me about my Islamic culture and heritage, and I did not have as many tools as they do now to talk about it. The museum provides a great opportunity to bring classmates and friends from different backgrounds to share and learn from each other. That's what pluralism is all about. In BUI, we learned about silk roots and spice roots, and the museum really brought this trade to life because I got to see not only physical items like ceramics, but also the knowledge that was exchanged from Iran to China and beyond. But the artifacts in the gallery are only one small part of the museum. 
There are also a lot of performances in spaces like this courtyard. Here, I attended a Central Asian performance inside a giant yurt. You could really feel the artist's emotion through their music. I like to express myself by singing, painting, and drawing, especially geometric patterns. Like the patterns in the courtyard and around the building, I learned how different countries use geometric shapes and how they can sometimes be passed on from one country to another. I think it's important to learn about our history so we can take lessons from the past that may have been forgotten. For example, people in the past were more conscious of the environment and the materials they were taking from it. People from all walks of life are connected, just like we are. I am very thankful to the AKDN and the Imam for putting this museum in Toronto because it has made me curious, not only about Muslim history, but about everything. I would love to be able to volunteer at the museum one day and create a fun learning environment for other visitors, just like they have for me. Thank you, my friends, for visiting this magical portal into the past. Goodbye for now. Au revoir.